brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you uh, rear view mirror replacement, outside rear view mirror replacement. This is a 2007 Audi A4. Should be pretty much the same for any 2003 to 2008 um, A4, both the sedan as well as the wagon, uh, as well as the uh, S4 and RS4. And you'll need a new mirror from 1AAuto.com, Phillips and flat blade screwdrivers, 10 millimeter T25, T30, and T45 Torx drivers, ratchets and extensions, pliers, and a flashlight. Start out, open the driver's door, and release the hood. Pull the lever here, back, and that pops the hood. And then you want to disconnect your battery. Uh, now on our vehicle, uh, I believe a couple of panels are missing, um, but you just want to pull this weather strip back, and you can pull the panels up and out. Um, I think there should be one over the battery, but there's not. And then you want to use, once you have uncovered the battery, 10 millimeter socket and ratchet or a 10 millimeter wrench loosen the negative or the black battery cable and pull it up and off and put it off to the side so it doesn't contact the terminal use a flat blade screwdriver and a rag or paper towel to protect the plastic and fabric and there's a little oval panel underneath the door pull you pry out the bottom and it comes out and then you want to pry out this uh, bright strip and you just pry the front out and pull firmly and then pull the back towards the front of the car to remove it. Six screws hold the door panel on. There's two underneath the door pull and then four gold screws at the top. And we'll just fast forward here as I remove those with a, a Phillips screwdriver. The two that are under the door pull may stay in there. Just make sure you collect them after the door panel's off. Then you can pull from the starting at the top, pull firmly, and you'll release the clips. Um, our panel comes off a little bit easily, probably because it's been off before. Um, so you may have to pull a little more than what I did there, but just pull around the edge. And then once you have the cl clips released, pull the door panel up and off. And I try and gather those screws. Once you have the panel back, you're going to pull your cable out of the clip, and then there's a little hook that you release. Then there's a wire that goes into the speaker. It just has two tabs at the top. Squeeze them together and pull the harness up and out. And then there's a harness here that has a orange safety clip. Pry the safety clip a little bit first, then pull the connector and the clip down at the same time. Use a T25 Torx bit and remove the three screws that hold the window motor in place. Then you can pull the window motor off and it has three connectors on it and they all just have a little tab that you push and release. Some of them are a little more difficult than the other ones. Carefully remove the foam insulation and water shield. Even though I'm fast forwarding it, I am pulling carefully making sure I don't tear or stretch out that shield. And then you'll need a T25 Torx um, driver again to remove the sensor. And once that's off, then finish, again, carefully removing the shield from the door. Just pull, and I just kind of watch, make sure that the glue doesn't tear the water shield. Connect the other lead from the speaker. Again, two tabs that you push inside towards each other and then pull it out. And then the speaker is held in place again with three T35 large headed black screws. And then the speaker pulls out and up and off. Actually, two trim panels to move at the top corner of the door. There's this kind of outer one. And then there is one to the left of this that I removed and I didn't get a film of it. Um, but it's just a smaller one that's right next to the mirror. Remove them both and they both just pull off. Then there's a T30 Torx screw at the bottom of the window frame. Remove that. 
You want to remove the bottom of the door weather strip or the door weather strip from the bottom of the door. So pull out on the weather strip and you can see, once you pull out, you can see the white and yellow clips that are in behind there. Pull out and then pry the clips. I have a little trim tool, but you could also just use a pair of needle nose pliers and do the same thing. You can see I just start using the needle nose pliers right there. And then you know, try and do this carefully. Uh, the better shape that you leave the clips, the better it'll go together afterwards. In behind where you pull the speaker, there is a T25 uh, torque screw that holds the bottom of the regulator on. Remove that one. And then there's the other one a little further back and remove that. Now we're going to free up the harness for the mirror. And there's uh, basically like a little strap clip and you pull it off, just pull firmly and it'll come off and then that frees up the end of the harness. Pull the plug from the door and feed the harness through into the door. And then when I didn't shoot very well, and I apologize for this, um, there are two harness clips inside the door. You just have to reach in there, feel the harness where it's attached to the door, and pull firmly to pull the harness clips from the door. Four T45 bolts now hold the frame to the door. One up here in the front. I'll fast forward there, remove that one. Then there's another silver one further back. Now there's a black phosphate coated one at the front and this one is the longest of the four. Pull this weather strip off and then flat blade screwdriver pry that cap out. Then there's another T45 Torx bolt there, and you'll need the T45 Torx bit as well as a socket, and ratchet, and extension, and remove that one. Use a screwdriver or a pair of pliers to push the teeth uh, that are on the um, regulator transmission, and then push them through. And now pull the window frame up and out. Uh, be mindful of your power mirror harness as well as your weather strip. And with your window frame out and on a surface, uh, we're just going to pull the uh, two other clips out for the um, wiring harness. Just grab onto the harness and work them back and forth and pull them out. Now remove the T30 Torx screw that holds the mirror in place. And the mirror that uh, comes off of our vehicle actually is in perfectly fine shape, but we'll put the new one from Morning Auto on, and then we're going to install the, um, the painted cover that's already on our original mirror just so it matches. Um, so we'll show you how to remove and we'll sh even show you how to take apart the whole mirror. But some of the steps that we're going to show you, you're not going to need because you're just going to take your old mirror off and put the new one on. Okay, we're going to remove the glass, and again, this is one of those steps that most likely your mirror is all wiped out anyways, and you don't need to do this, but um, to remove, if you wanted to remove the glass, work your fingers in behind there. Um, good idea to have gloves. I couldn't actually fit my fingers in behind with gloves on, um, but in case the mirror did break, um, you'd be protected. But you work your fingers in behind and try and push near the ring where it's clipped in and pull the uh, glass off. And then you just have to work the two leads for the um, defrost off of the mirror glass. To remove uh, the painted bezel, you want to. What I'm actually doing is I'm pushing um, kind of up on the black part and pushing down as it, you see it here on the painted bezel and that unlocks the clips that are along the bottom. And then I reach in with the 90 degree pick and pull apart. Uh, there's a little clip in there that you release and then you can pull the bezel up and then I pull with that pick. And then there's another clip further back in the middle of the mirror that you might need to use um, right there to try and release that and then that comes off. And again, this is a step that you may not need because if your mirror has been wiped out, 
none of this is usable anyways. Okay, helps to turn over the frame and work on it from the other way. And remove the old pad. And then you have to work the mirror down in. The mirror does have a couple of guide pins. Um, so you kind of have to work it up into that um, upper weather strip and then down and in until it goes in correctly. Okay, and once it's in, it seats nicely. And then put that T30 Torx bolt in place. Make sure that the uh, wire harness comes down where it's supposed to, it's not pinched. And then tighten up that T30 Torx bolt. Now put the uh, clips from the wire harness back into the frame. And if the harness is still coiled up, just take the tie off and relax it. To prepare your door to reinstall the assembly, go inside and remove the wire clips. And then you'll want to attach them back on to um, your wire harness. And down in the door, just take note, there is a clip that the regulator cable goes into. Raise up. Uh, your assembly, make sure the uh, weather strip is inside the door, and then feed the um, power mirror harness down in, and then lower it into place. Make sure the uh, window regulator transmission goes down into place. And evenly put it down in. As you can see the front slides into place pretty easily once I get it lined up. And then you should just pull up on this little rubber um, piece of weather strip, pull it kind of out of the way, and push the frame down in. And from the inside, just check, make sure everything's lined up correctly. Clip the cable in for the regulator, and then pull the transmission for the window regulator down and push it into place. Now just get the um, harness for the power wind or power mirror back into place and uh, replace the clips back into the holes in the in the door so the harness stays out of the way of the window. All right, and start install that T30 screw that's way up front, and then the two silver uh, T45 screws that are at the top of the door, and then the long longer the longest black one goes in the front and then the one in the rear and then you want to tighten those up nice and firm install the t25 screws that hold the bottom of the window regulator rails to the door and then we'll keep the speed up as we tighten those up and then replace your speaker. There is a tab at the top that you kind of hang it up on and then three T25 screws hold it in place. And those would be three, they have kind of a larger head and they're the coarse thread bolts. Okay, and then I don't even know how I keep working this fast, but we're gonna go and um, put the clips back in on the weather strip and they should just push back in place and they'll snap a little bit. Make sure it's nice and secure. And reinsert the rubber cover over the bolt hole. And now reach in through and push that power mirror harness through and get it set into that grommet. And good time also, just make sure your speaker is connected. And put your water shield back in place. Make sure you get that uh, door handle cable to come through 
and then put that sensor back on with the two T25 Torx screws. Install the window motor and what I'm going to do is take the three screws and I'm just going to put them in a few turns first and give them a good pull to make sure that those studs are locked into the door. So you just screw them in a few threads. It also helps just to get them going. And then once you do that, put the window in place, uh, the window motor in place. And if you get it and it won't go on all the way, move the window down just a little bit and keep applying pressure on the motor and the gears will mesh and it'll slide right on. And then put those three T25 screws back in place. And tighten them up nice and firm. You are going into plastic, so don't over tighten them. And reconnect the three connectors that go into that uh, door module. Just make sure you press them up in there and they click and they're, they're nice and secure. And then put that strap clip back on the mirror harness. Reinstallation of the panel is a reverse of the procedure. Take the large clip, make sure that that uh, um, safety clip is forward, put it up and in, and then push the clip up and in while you rotate that safety clip back. And make sure it clicks into place and locks. And uh, replug the speaker wire back in and make sure it clicks. Pull your panel up close and clip or put the hook back into the door handle and clip the cable in. Reinstall that small triangle piece at the top corner. And then you want to lift the panel up into place, push the um, top of the panel towards the window and make sure it goes into the ledge clip. And once you get it down, you basically want to kind of look in behind and feel in behind and make sure that the clips find their holes. You can see I do that here. I hit it once in the back, but it didn't really set. So I'm just trying to line it up correctly. You may have to move it just back and forth just a little bit or up and down. But once you get them in, then you can um, give, give them a few hits and they um, set into place four screws at the top. Just fast forward as I put those in. And then using a flashlight, put the screw onto your screwdriver and guide it in. It might help to use a little bit of glue on the end of the screwdriver just to hold the um, screw onto the screwdriver while you start it in. And I'll fast forward as I do the other one. Put the front trim, trim panel back in place. You kind of have to slide it down into the weather strip and you kind of look in behind to see where the, the tabs line up into the holes. And then once you get in place, squeeze it in place and pull the weather strip out if it gets caught underneath at all. Put the trim panel back in place, slide the back in first, and then again look in behind, line up the clips and then it goes right into place once you have it lined up correctly. The lower panel, you the larger clip goes at the bottom and then you basically kind of put it into place, force it up into the panel and then push the bottom in. And reconnect your battery. and then tighten up the 10 millimeter nut. And you want to get it till it's firm. You don't want to over tighten it. And then once that's all set, put any of the panels back in place and reset that weather strip to hold them down in the front. So you can see I have both um, mirror bezels here and Obviously the gray one is the new one that came with the mirror from Warney Auto, and you can paint that to match. You can be as crude as going to a hardware store and finding a color that matches, which that works if it's black or white or something. Um, but if you wanted a better color match, you could uh, go to an automotive uh, parts store that has a paint department, help have them, give them your VIN. They can usually match up 
and give you a some paint in a spray charged can or a air charged can and then you can finish the bezel yourself um, and you can also just put it on as the gray bezel if you're just looking for a functioning mirror okay and keep in mind that the base is a one a auto replacement and this is the original audi bezel and you can see the audi bezel goes right onto the one a auto replacement nicely just make sure everything clicks into place check the bottom make sure it all locks in I noticed the bottom is a little bit out, so it just clicks right in. It's all set. And then the mirror glass, plug in the leads for the defrost. And then just kind of look in. There is a tab that you want to line up. And once you get it lined up, then just squeeze the glass and lock it into place. Now you can do a little test, turn the key on, and move the mirror around, line it up so it works for you. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1aauto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.